Hi, my name is Greg Gilmore. This is Julia Zamora, and we're physical therapy students at Northwestern University. Today we're going to tell you how to do the upper limb tension test for the radial nerve. As a terminal branch of the posterior cord, the radial nerve enters the posterior compartment of the arm and innervates the medial and long head of the triceps. The lateral aspect of the arm proximal to the olecranon, the radial nerve turns lateral and innervates the anconius, brachioradialis, and extensor carpi radialis longus. Thereafter, the nerve splits. Its motor branches continue to innervate the extensor musculature of the forearm, while the sensory branches provide sensation to the back of the hand. The idea behind uh, radial nerve upper limb tension testing is that relatively small joint movement in the upper extremity will place the radial nerve in tension and will assess the integrity of the peripheral nervous system in remote areas. Indications for this test are cervical, thoracic, and upper extremity neural symptoms and it's very important to make sure that you clear the patient's cervical spine before before performing this test. So when you do this test, um, you do it in different steps. Um, when you begin, you have the patient supine, and you'll have the arm in 10 degrees of abduction with the elbow flexed. To begin, the first step, to press the shoulder. Second step, extend the elbow. Third step, internally rotate and pronate the arm, and pronate the wrist. Next, flex the wrist, flex the fingers, and then abduct to 40 degrees. And then you'll, the entire time you'll ask the patient if they have any uh, reproduction of neural symptoms. And then at the end, if it's a positive test, you have the patient side bend away from the affected side at the cervical neck. The symptoms would be increased. And if they bend toward the involved side, the symptoms decrease. All right, so now I'm going to actually perform the upper limb tension test on Julie. So Julie, my name is Greg. I'm your physical therapist today. Hi, Greg. Um, notice you have some symptoms. You tell me some symptoms in the right side on your arm. Does that come and go throughout the day? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. Okay. Is it worse for different positions? Yeah, it's worse when I try to um, really straighten my arm out this way. Okay. And okay. Sometimes when I sleep at night. Okay. All right. Um, do you have any problems with your your neck or your um, like your mid back region? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. All right. Good. Um, so first what we'll do is um, we'll do the test, um, so have you go back on your back um, and I'll just put your arm in different positions and then that will actually help elicit and help you find out what's going on. So, so go ahead and lay down on your back for me. Alright Julie, so now I'm going to perform a test on you. Okay, so at any time just tell me if you have symptoms or reproduction of pain or anything like that. Okay. okay. Um, so first I'm going to have my arm here underneath your shoulder. And again, the entire time, just tell me if you have symptoms. All right. So first, I'll put my arm here, and I'll depress the shoulder. Any symptoms? Mm -hmm. All right. Extend your elbow. Any symptoms? No. Nope. All right. Internally rotate. Pronate. Anything yet? No. Nope. Right. And then flex, flex. You okay? Yeah. All right. Now, tell me when you start having symptoms. Right there. Right there. Does it back off right there? Yes, it does. Okay. Can you side bend your neck toward the left for me? Does it get worse or better? It gets worse. Okay. And then back and to your right. Is it better or worse? It's better. Good. So that'd be a positive test for Julie. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg Gilmore, and this is Julie Zamora, and we're Northwestern, uh, that's, that's <laughs> We just keep going. I guess we can just keep just going. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> the steps for the test are first, have the shoulder placed in the abduction about 10 degrees with the elbow flexed. Uh, first, this will go, go to the blooper rail. Okay. <laughs> So when you, when you, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, if it's a 
positive test, the symptoms would be increased. And if they bend toward the toward the involved side, and it goes away. <laughs> I don't know what happens. <laughs> Nothing. Changed. Oh, the symptoms decrease. Oh yeah, the symptoms decrease.